Hello, my name's Robin Stewart, I have Asperger's Syndrome and I'm a really big iPhone fan and in this video I'd like to tell you about how I use my iPhone. First of all, my iPhone has a case and on the back of the case is something called a Mosey mount. A Mosey mount allows you to put your iPhone onto a tripod and that means that I can watch videos hands free and also at film my own videos and take photos. Uh, so I find that really useful. In terms of applications, I've tried lots of different sorts of apps, but I don't really use any of the autism specific apps for myself. I find that the functionality generally of an iPhone is very useful. To me, it's very important to communicate verbally. And so being able to have a phone that allows me to call people is really really important. Also having the email functionality is very vital because I use it for my work and it helps me keep organised. The calendar is also very useful and because it links in uh, or rather it syncs with my Apple Mac, um, MacBook Pro, that's very useful uh, in, in terms of having information all in one place. And I also use the uh, clock a lot and the alarms and I also use the iPod functionality, so I listen to lots of music and I find that very good for when I become sensually overwhelmed. I also use the National Rail Inquiries app, that's very useful, because it allows me to plan my journey uh, in a, a particular train station. So for example, if I was going to London Waterloo, that's quite a big station, and I can anticipate where my train will be leaving from and therefore which entrance to come come through when I enter the station which means that I can limit the amount of time that I have to spend in a really busy noisy crowded area and also that I don't have to get confused about where to go. The um, maps are very useful uh, because it gives you directions and also it will tell you about public transportation routes so I find that very useful. Um, I'd highly recommend the iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad for somebody on the autistic spectrum if they like technology. I would recommend trying it first. There's lots of free apps available that you can try out. And then if you want to go ahead and buy apps, I'd recommend reading the book um, Apps for Autism, which is published by Future Horizons, which has 200 plus apps listed in a directory format.